The sky is deep blue and filled with stars. Lends a somewhat mystical cast to the world below. Today we're talking about Twilight Forest. If you're looking to learn more about mods, shaders, texture packs and all things related to Minecraft to making it better, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell. Hey guys, I'm Dee from DAB Works where we make content on the best mods mixed with shader packs and texture packs, letting our computers suffer so yours doesn't have to. Alright, big shout out to these guys over here. Thank you so much. This is from the previous video, the comments. And if you post your comments, I will give you a shout out in the video. So post your comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get into how to do it. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to get into the Twilight not Zone, but Twilight Forest. <laughs> I want to say Twilight Zone. Um, so how to make the portal for the Twilight Forest, I'm going to tell you now, is the Twilight Forest can only be accessed by creating the special portal. Make the portal by digging two by two pools of water, um, surrounding with natural items from vanilla, such as plants, flowers, mushrooms. And then what you're going to do is you are going to throw a diamond into it and the lightning will strike this water and magically transforming it into a portal for the twilight forest a portal back to the overworld will be created when a player enters the twilight forest all right so place the blocks like this ah jeez <laughs> that block's annoying all right and pop them like this all right and then you want to go and you want to put the flowers or whatever you want sunflowers or whatever flowers you want or just uh, you know vanilla plants around it and then what you're going to do also geez my my aiming skill is just so bad and then you're going to pop the water inside there and make it make sure it's full and then put a diamond by pressing q and there it is now we can enter this world and let's take a look at the different biomes let's go oh just jump in that's how you get through just jump in like a normal portal Alright, so as you jump through the portal, you're going to arrive at a place like this. And this is the Twilight Forest in general. Now, you'll be confused and a little bit scared, and that's me too, don't worry. I was there too, and I still am. But it's okay, because I'm going to show you the different biomes they have in this mod. Alright, so this is the Twilight Forest. I'm going to put up the different ones we have here. We're going to be moving to the Mushroom Forest right now. Uh, so we have Twilight Forest, Dense Twilight Forest, Swamps, Fire Swamps, Highlands, Mushroom Forest, Deep Mushroom Forest. That's if you just go really deep in the Mushroom Forest, I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. But that's what I guess. Uh, we've got the Clearing, the Lake, the Dark Forest, Enchanted Forest, Snowy Forest, Glacier, and Twilight Stream. So this right here, we are seeing the Mushroom Forest, and it looks beautiful. Um, it's very high up, so I'm guessing if you fall... Yep, that's not going to be good at all. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to take a look at the different ones we have now. This is the fire swamp, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's beautiful. It has these like, little uh, embers kind of just floating around. It, it, looks, it looks amazing. The detail in, in these different biomes is so cool. And they merge really well also. This is... Guys, I might be wrong. This, this looks like the highlands. I'm not too sure. Um... Like I said, there's so many different ones, and I was just going through them and checking the different biomes out there. But you guys can see that they put really detail in this mod, and it, it's beautiful. So we're going to go down here and have a little look and see what you can get into. Um, so we're going to go down a little bit and uh, see what we can find. We're going to go down. And as you can see, they, they've really gone into the world details. You know, I mean, you've got these blocks over here, um, giving a little bit of embers and the particles, sorry. Um, just a little more look at what you can see in this thing. So I'm just going to do a little fly around and you guys can have a little look and see the different biomes. I will put a little label at the bottom so you guys can read and see. And also I want to say if you don't know how to download it, check on this link right over here. And it will explain to you how to download any mod and just put it in your computer and, and have it working really easy. Alright, so now we are in the Twilight Clearing as they call it. And we're just going to have a little fly around and show you what it looks like in this biome. So right here we have a wild boar. It's one of the mobs we'll be talking about in the future. Or in the future of this video. And I'll be talking about more of the mob mobs in this video. And we're going to do a, a couple parts to it. There's a lot of mobs and I really want to explain each one. So right here we're still going through the clearing. And it's just in the swampy kind of area. These, these biomes really mash kind of quickly together. So you'll just change into different biomes. There's so many different biomes. So... The ones that I read to you, they still have their little spin-offs. Um, and it just gets deeper and deeper into the actual thing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go have a look, you know, just around and um, see what we can find. So, we're going to fly around here. And as you can see, we've got these little 
I think they're the fireflies, if I'm not mistaken. Fireflies over there. We also have these little guys over here. And I'll be talking about them in the, in the future of this video. So just stay tuned to see what are they and what the hell are they doing there. <laughs> All right. Um, there's different, beautiful different mobs that they've added to this game. And it looks, it looks really beautiful. We've got a little house here or holding. Um, a protection. And it's really good to find these things. So you can find some protection. This one's a bit broken, but it's all good. It's all good. You can build it up quite easy and, and stay in there for, you know, a couple nights. I wouldn't, I wouldn't base myself in it, but yeah. Because this game actually goes about fighting bosses. And moving up levels so I'm gonna get into the first boss you fight and I'll show you how to do that also next we have right here is the enchanted forest as you can see it's a bit greeny a bit bloomy it looks beautiful and we can have a fly around and give you a little look so as you can see the biomes are blending right here so it's really quick how they move into different biomes and I think that's cool so you're not traveling many days to actually get to a different biome all right so now the next biome we're gonna have a look at is called the labyrinth and it's a really strange place that I found. It's kind of like a maze down in the bottom. So we're going to go down here and we're going to have a look. It kind of looks like the old, old, old Windows screensaver. Did you just fly around? And yeah. Anyways, if you don't know that, that's all good. <laughs> we got different mobs in the bottom here. It looks quite scary. It reminds me of the mansion in vanilla Minecraft. And it's just mobs that look like they're just going to kill you, annihilate you. So if you fall down here, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll probably just just end it all <laughs> yeah it's 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 beautiful down here but then there's also like really creepy and i'm i've got a lantern so it's it's giving some light i think down here there's no light at all so yeah good luck if you fall down here next we have the glacier and we have a hostile wolf also so we got the glaciers over here he's not happy to be here i guess uh i'm not happy that we're here and we're gonna fly around and just have a little look about the glaciers that are happening in this biome and you can see right through them if you're running a different uh, shader pack, you can see right through them. I think you can also do it in, in, in the normal without a shader pack, but I mean, each of their own. I really enjoy the shader pack. If you want to know, I'll put it in the description what shader pack I'm using. And yeah, it's it's pretty easy to install it also. Um, so yeah, we're going to fly around. And if you do hear a rooster in the background, I do apologize. My neighbors have two for some freaking reason. I don't know why. Um, it's just annoying, but anyways, so yeah, you can go all the way up to the top of these glaciers and it just looks like a really fun place to ride a boat If you ask me don't go in the water. It's very cold. I tried it out and yeah, it's cold and Then the last biome we're gonna look at is the spooky Forest and it's kind of like, you know, Halloween. You got some pumpkins lying around You've got I wish the pumpkins had Jack o' lantern, like you know, faces on them, but it's not, it doesn't have that. But don't worry, get some shears and you can put that on there. There's a lot of spider webs around here. Yeah, the pumpkins over here. It looks cool, it looks spooky. It does, it really does. All right, and we can have a little fly around and just have a little look of what is going on in the spooky forest. Now, I recommend to have a lantern or somewhat of a light source because it is quite dark in this because it is twilight. Yep, <laughs> all right, and um, yeah, we've got some beautiful little animals here we got some fireflies over there they create the light for you so they can help you out now let's go into looking at each mob on their own all right all right so the first mob we have on the list today is the wild boar that we saw already but i'm going to spawn him again just so you can see him again and have a little look around and see what he looks like and if you encounter him what you know what you should do so the wild boar is a passive mob so you're safe on that one that lives in the twilight forest it can spawn in many biomes but mostly in the fire swamp we actually saw him not in the fire swamp so that's quite interesting and yeah that's the wild boar we have a little look around him but he does look like the the one we've seen before so not too much different here he's cute let's get on the next one all right so next on the list we have the bighorn sheep or a ram i guess not the one in the computer. Sorry, that's that's another pun joke. I'm sorry. Um, so the bighorn sheep is a mob added by the Twilight Forest. The bighorn sheep drops two wool blocks upon shearing and one and one wool block if it is killed. They spawn in a variety of colors. So yeah, it's it's basically a sheep and it's just got big horns by the name. All right, next one. All right, so no cap, we got the red cap. Okay, sorry, I apologize. 
Anyways, Red Cap is a mod added by the Twilight Forest. It will laugh occasionally and can be heard by the nearby players. Red Caps can spawn in darkness and their spawners can be found in many of the Twilight Forest's generating structures. This is what they look like. They've got a pickaxe and they got a little red cap. Wow, wonder where they came up with the name. And there's different variants of them. So I'm gonna spawn both of them so you can have a little look. And hear the laugh. So we've got the goblin, this guy. And then we also have, oh, hold on. As you can see, they got some nice sneakers, actually. And then we've got the sapper. And there he is. How much difference? One's a little bit smaller. They come in different variants. Their ears move also. But anyways, that's red cap, no cap. All right, next one. All right, I want to apologize in advance from here on out. It does rain in the forest and I even did the weather, you know, and it, it didn't change. So just ignore the rain on the drops on the screen. It is what it is. So this is a swarm spider. Swarm spiders are a mob from the twilight forest. They have a 1.5 hearts of health and they do zero to one damage. There are tiny purple spiders that appear in great numbers in the hollow hills and hedge mazes. A hit from almost any weapon will kill them. And their final attack often fail to deal any damage. So the best way to defeat them is by explosive weapons such as bombs. Alright, enjoy blowing them up. Let's get to the next one. All right, so now talking about the Naka or Naga or Naga, um, it's actually originated from Thailand, which is very interesting. So the Naga or the Naga dragon is pronounced Na in the official Thai dialect pronounced Naka or Naka from Ubon Ratnathani. The Thai lotus was born. So this, this is where the theory comes from. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's also in the martial art lotus self-defense. So this is a dragon that comes from, it's on the temples in Thailand. You can see them all over. And it's very interesting that they actually put it into the game. So let's get into, this is the first boss that you need to defeat and let's get into how to defeat it. Now, yes, I know my mod is a bit weird and it's spawning it weird. Sometimes a bit longer and mine just like a one head, I understand. But yours might be a bit longer, that's all good. Um, so, let's get into how to defeat it. So, the Naga is intended to be the first boss of the Twilight Forest. It should be a good fight for adventure with an iron armor and weapons. In combat, it moves extremely quickly, circling around the target before making several charges attack. Because of its speed, it is advisable to bring a ranged weapon, such as a bow, to shoot it from further away. Or oh, crossbow. If you stand next to the courtyard wall, the Naga will rush at you. When that happens, quickly avoid the attack by moving. It will smash through the courtyard wall and if there is a hill next to it, that wall will slide up. It will slide up the cliff and quickly swivel around back to you. At that time, it will charge with all its speed and will dash you and if the heal is high enough, you can dodge the attack. Then the Naga will take full damage. Repeatedly doing this and is a recommend from you. I recommend probably do this. I mean, it's not too difficult. I've seen a lot of people that um, defeat this quite easy. They say it's quite an easy boss. So, yep, good luck to you. Let's get into the next one. All right, so next we have the skeleton. The skeleton is a mob added by the Twilight Forest. They resemble regular skeletons wearing green clothing and carrying a golden hoe. You, the one you dig with, not the other one. Anyways, not a gold digger. They cast magical seeds that can poison a player by causing grass and flowers to grow on the ground if they miss. They're often found rundown buildings with a mob spawner inside it, though they can also be found in the darkest of forests. So this right here is one of the houses that we looked at. And if you can defeat them, hey, you got a free house. No rent. All right, next one. All right, so next we have the Hostile Wolf. Now, a Hostile Wolf is a mob added by the Twilight Forest. They appear very similar to the Overworld Wolf counterpart, but are consistently aggressive. It's pretty much like me. Just an average day, just angry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, he's just he's just growling the whole time, and yeah, you probably hear me in a distance. And have you ever had a way you're just trying to catch a rabbit in vanilla, and there's just this wolf that's just super angry and want to eat the rabbit? That's this guy 
but all the time. There's nothing much to it. That's it. <laughs> all right, next one. All right, next we're going to spawn is the Twilight Wraith. Twilight Wraith is a mob added by Twilight Forest, of course. They usually spawn in hills, dungeons, spawn in the hills, dungeons, in the Twilight Forest dimension. They, the cool thing about them is they drop glowstone dust. If that's cool to you, yeah, sure. All right, next one. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Hedge Spider. I hate spiders. But anyways, Hedge Spider is a mob added by the Twilight Forest. Once again, they do not spawn naturally, but rather from mob spawners in the Hedge Maze. While the Hedge Spider has many visual resemblance of a cave spider, they are not poisonous and they have 16 hit points or 8 hearts of health. I just, uh, ooh, I don't like them. Alright, next one. All right, so next we got the Hydra. Now, my Hydra doesn't show 100% properly because I'm not too sure why. I think it's maybe my shader pack and I apologize for that. But the Hydra's got three heads and it's huge. I've just got the feet. But anyways, I'll explain to it. The Hydra can be found in a unique cracked open Hydra lair in the Twilight Forest Swamp or Fire Swamp. The Hydra appears as a massive creature with two stumpy legs supporting a wide scale body, which I don't have, multiple necks on the end and the heads passing resemblance of the Ender Dragon. The entire creature is covered in blue-green scales and it's easy to destroy the place with blocks with its tail. Alright, the Hydra is extremely dangerous. I cannot stress this enough. Alright, now the first head is a fire breather. The next one is going to be explosive bombs and the other head does bite attacks. Most players automatically start attacking the head. This only will make the battle more longer and deadly for you. The best way to attack the Hydra is to get under its belly and hit it with the sword. This will easily tip the battle in your favor. Note that at certain points of the battle, the Hydra will regenerate its health. Alright, so next we have the Twilight Lich or Lich, but I'm guessing in German it's Lich. Now, this is the boss mob added to Twilight Forest that can be found in the top level of the Lich Tower. The Twilight Lich is a tall skeleton-like creature wearing a purple cape and a golden crown. Using an Ender Giant Sword, the Lich minions were easily defeated with two to three hits. It is possible to get the minions to hit the Twilight Lich with by putting, sorry, by putting the Twilight Lich in between you and the minions. All right, next we can also do a little secret here. Twilight Lich shields are destroyed based on numbers of attacks, not attack damage. This means you can throw it with snowballs and destroy the shields. There's one for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you can click here for part two. If part two is not there yet, just wait another week and part two will be there, part three, and so on and so forth. There's going to be a part series of just going right through this whole mod because it's so intense. Anyways, guys, check out those videos over there and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys.